We're back and, um, gee, this is just, this is great fun. You know, I was thinking, you've danced with Ginger Rogers and Rita Hayworth and Barry Chase and um, Sid Charisse and Judy Garland and I, I don't, uh, I've left some about Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. And it would not be diplomatic to ask you who was the greatest dancer, so I won't. Who was the biggest klutz, though, of oh. those? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, no, what got into me? Do you want an answer? Yeah. Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> no. no well, I, I, always got out, I always got out of that, too. When they used to ask me, who, who is your best, the best partner, I'd say, look, I'm not going to get into that trouble. Yeah, um, it's Bing Crosby, so um, that covers that. So he covers but, it either way. But he wasn't yeah, the he was, he was great. <laughs> In his must have to way. I mean... Uh, uh, you had to adjust to each lady, though, some, I suppose. To... Oh, uh, well, they're all different. You know, after all, uh, Ginger... Is, is in, has a place of her own. She, mm. she just was just unbelievable to work with, just great. Mm. And uh, she's a good performer, good actress. She sell, sell, sells it so well. Incidentally, I hear she's going to do one of, some show in Paris, the, the Paris edition of MAME. I think that's wonderful. She's a, such mm. a clever gal. She's mm. wonderful. And then, of course, uh, uh, the, la the, the little girl I worked with most recently in the past few years, and she was in all the specials that I did with Barry Chase. And Barry is just a fantastic talent. She's a very artistic girl, and she's very uh, sensitive and very, well, she's always afraid that, she's, that it's not good enough, and, she, and uh, she thinks she isn't good enough at it and so forth. But if you tell her she isn't, then she really tells you something about the <laughs> She does. Oh, yeah, so she, but it's so I always know. But she, am I taking too much time? Because it's interesting. No, I'm but, here every night, and well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it Barry's so, so great to work with, and, and um, I always remember certain things, but um, in one of the specials, recent, the most recent one I did with her, and um, we were doing Oh, You Beautiful Doll, a segment in there, which, which I liked and dreamed up and thought was fine, and she didn't quite uh, go for it as, you know, she said, well, what am I, what am I doing, and, well, what, I, what, why? I, who who am I? Who am I? So I heard this thing, and uh, because I've been through it before, she's she's just, you know, she's conscientious, and I always respect it when somebody takes that seriously. She said, "Who am I?" I said, "You're Barry Chase. Will you shut up and do it, please? I mean, just." And she did. And she, she did. Said, oh yes. And I thought she was going to slug me, but she didn't. <laughs> but she's no. just just a charming gal, and very very talented. And I thought yes, she, she certainly did. Yes. And you're always worried that you're not perfect. During, at the end of that medley, you said to me, did, uh, did I hit any lemons or did I hit oh, any clunkers yeah, or anything like that? I was afraid you off key or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know we forgot Cole Porter. Oh. <laughs> Just left him out. I don't think we can allow that. Oh, oh no, I don't want to allow it. I'd love to, love to do... So, let's, you, now? Why don't you do it? Um, may I... Uh, you may Barney, uh, Miss Miss Otis, right? Right. This is the, the butler. I've done I've done this one in, in um, uh, with, with Barry. We had a, produ a production number thing, but I'll just just do it. I'm the butler. <clears throat> Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. She's sorry to be delayed, but last evening down in Lover's Lane she strayed, madam. Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. When she woke up and found that her dream of love had gone, madam, she ran to the man who had led her so far astray and from under her velvet gown she drew a gun and shot her lover down madam miss otis regrets she's unable to lunch today now when the mob came and got her and dragged her from the jail madam, they strung her up on the old willow across the way. And the moment before she died, she lifted up her lovely head 
and cried, Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today. Like the beat, beat, beat of the beat When the jungle shadows fall Like the tick, tick, tock of the stately clock As it stands against the wall Like the drip, drip, drip of the raindrops When the summer shower is through So a voice within me keeps repeating You, you, you Night and day, you are the one, only you beneath the moon and under the sun, whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are, I think of you, night and day, day and night. Why is it so that this longing for you follows wherever I go? In the roaring traffic's boom, in the silence of my lonely room, I think of you night and day, night and day. Under the eye of me There's an oh such a hungry yearning Burning inside of me And its torment won't be through Till you let me spend my life Making love to you Day and night Night and day 